Oh, I've got calls call to this because this, um, this unit's not running. Got two units on there, it's on a big ice builder. Um, check the um, control circuit and it's off on the um, pressure switch. So uh, it's most likely got no gas in it. I don't think it's going to be out on high pressure. Um, so we'll get the gauges on there. And, uh, I think the last thing we had go wrong with this was um, suction valve rusted out where the pipe sprays into it. So that was the last thing we did. Oh, what have we got? Well, that's on naught, so safe to say there's not not much in there. So. Does make you think it's got quite a big, um, quite a big leak somewhere. It's got something on the high side. It could be a oh, it's on my valve. It's got off the LP, but no. Right. So what we want to do is shut the uh, shut the power off because we don't want it starting. So I'll probably put some pressure in there. Pressure switch just clicked. Alright, I'll right. have a look around see what we can see. I've gone all over the unit looking for it, um, couldn't find a thing. Um, I expected it would be quite a big leak and you'd hear it coming out because it had no pressure on it. Anyway, put some bit more nitrogen in there and then I noticed it dropped about 5 psi on these so I'm going to test those out and I zeroed this just as I started recording so it's lost 2 psi and then uh, I didn't have anything showing at about 150 psi and I put a bit more in there don't really want to go much higher because the compressor bodies it's on the suction side they don't take too much in fact I think it's 18 bar or something I forget what 18 bar is it's probably uh, 15, 16, 17, yeah, it is around 250, so you won't want to put much more on. I think it's 19, maybe 19 bar on the low side. Anyway, that is what it looks like. So it's full of copper corals where it makes the ice. Um, they look like we've got quite a big leak. From one of them. I'm not sure whether that's mostly nitrogen that's coming up, whether it's pushing water out because it's below the water level, so it's probably filled up with water. I think we're going to have to have a chat with the customer and a bit of a think about this, decide what we were going to do. 
can't even see where it's coming out at the moment. Hmm. You can buy um, replacement coils for these from the manufacturers. They do a whole new copper coil. Um, I think it's just held in my bar. I've never done one, but they're bolted in. And there's a bolt under here. Each side you've got four bolts because obviously when it's full of ice, it's light. It's lighter than water, so it wants to float. So it's um, it's held in with bolts. Um, so I mean, we've got a bit of height here. Possibly we might have to take the roof off. Lift it out of the high or something, or not JCB. There that is. All the way down. Oh well. I could just hear something else um, hissing away. And that was the first thing I checked was the compressor um, sight bars. So they do, they do, um, the O rings dry out when they start leaking. So there you go. So that's leaking as well. Two for the price of one. All right, we've got the water drained out. Um, I don't know if you're able to see it. It's um, pull that one. Every now and again, it sends a little plume of something out, rather out. Yeah, if I look a bit further back. Pretty much one, two, three, the fourth one down, fourth pipe, copper pipe down, or the second one up from the bottom, as it looks. Mm. Every now and again, there's a little plume of, you know, a little plume of, uh, it's probably water. <coughs> so it's leaking where the um, copper goes through the stainless steel frame. Just like a slot, and then they spot weld a little bracket around it. So it's obviously rub through on there or corrode it or something. There we are. That's, uh, that's where it's worn through. Put it somewhere. Put it over there. There we go. Right.
Christ in there. Just got on pressure test now, keep our fingers crossed. 